and welcome back to the training. So in this video, what I want to walk you through is a plugin that will allow us to go ahead and set up our foundational pages and keep them easy to access, keep them organized. And then on top of that, we'll be able to keep our primary services organized as we add our state and supporting content. Let me go ahead and get over into the actual website here. So back into our example, what we went ahead and did is we installed a plugin and I'll go ahead and share that with you right now. We installed two plugins, actually. The very first one that we went ahead and installed was a plugin called Wicked Folders. Now, what Wicked Folders will allow us to do is it will allow us to go ahead and have this option or this functionality on our page screen where we can set up our primary services, right? So in this case, it's financial advisor, foundation pages, um, you have your retirement pension, retirement planner, right? These are our primary service pages. On top of that, I even made a folder for my foundation pages. Now what I'll do is I'll add another one for my supporting pages, right? Just, just to give you an example, and we'll hit save. Now as I load in my, my pages and my primary location and service and supporting pages, everything's organized because it gets messy quick. Now, the next plugin that I want to share with you that allows me to create things very quickly is a plugin, and I'll, I'll jump back over here. This is the plugin screen. The other plugin, all right, that is mandatory is going to be a bulk menu creator. Now, what bulk menu creator will allow us to do is it will allow us to quickly and easily and fast, all in one shot, create sidebars. On top of that, we can make our headers, our footers, and even little um, internal linking blocks inside of the page. So this, this saves so much time. So here, here's what this was, here's what this is, and here's how it works. So here's what we'll do. We'll come over here to our menus. And with our bulk menu, what you can actually do is once we have the pages uploaded, we can gather the URLs and you can write, uh, for instance, financial um, financial advisor, uh, let's say it's Florida. Okay, so financial advisor in Florida. And then what you would do is you down here, you would write that URL. So it would be like musto tax, just for an example. Forward slash, you'll have your financial advisor, right? Forward slash financial advisor, Florida. Okay, now that would actually make a menu item for you. So you could just copy paste, copy paste in bulk, takes care of your menus, takes care of your sidebars, headers, footers, drop downs, and internal linking blocks. And then the other plugin that I shared with you is how you keep all of your pages and your foundation pages organized. So it's wicked folders and bulk menu creator. Super awesome. The only other thing that I went ahead and added, and I'll go ahead and share this with you right now, as far as plugins are concerned, uh, if we come back over here to our plugins, is SEO Press. There's a lot of SEO plugins. This one has a lot of functionality completely for free. And what's great about this is when we're on our pages, right? I'll go ahead and share this with you. We'll go to our pages. The reason why we wanted to utilize a SEO plugin is because I can then go into the actual quick edit and go ahead and assign specific folders, which you can do usually. But what's great is I can set my SEO title, all my meta descriptions. I can do it all right here, all at once and move a lot faster. So it's organization, it's speed. It's just very helpful. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. These are the plugins that I went ahead and added in order to make the organization and the pages and everything flow a lot easier. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I'll see you then.